Shalom. All praises, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Chakodash. Double honors to the true teachers of Yasharala, the leaders of Yasharala. Salutations um, to the Aki, Makwath, and Bunyam, Barf Tawada, who are predestined to be saved in these last days. As um, the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, meaning He is, He exists, He to be, okay? True name of His only begotten Son. Um, Yahweh Shai, not Jesus, um, you know, not, not Christ, Yahweh Shai, meaning he saves, he delivers. Yahweh Shai will return to save his elect, the nation of Yasharala, nation of Israel, he prints power. Um, at the appointed time, which is very, very soon, as you see the pro prophecies popping off the page, um, a lot of division going on around the world, a lot of wars, rumors of wars. You know, Yahushua says in Matthew 24th chapter, as he's going to deliver his elect, Matthew 24 and 30. Um, previous verses up um, from 6 to 8, you know, times of um, wars, nation against nation. But I get it, I'm going to get it. I don't really have any scriptures planned, but um, give me one second. Here we are. <clears throat> These are the times we're living in. Uh, Matthew, like one of Matthew 24. So Matthew 24, oh, six. And you shall hear of wars, and these words are written in red, so these are the words of Yahweh Shai. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. The end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, that goes into ethnos, that goes into civil wars up and coming, um, um, which we can clearly see it going to happen at some point shortly in Babylon the Great, which is America. Um, kingdom against kingdom, that's going to nations fighting with one another. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginnings of sorrows. We'll just say ethnos. Let's see. Um, yep, ethnos. I like yeah. Multitude, whether men or bees, associated by living together, a company, a swarm, multiple of individuals. Yeah, so basically, it's going to be people against people, tribe nations of peoples against people. So, you know, be it black, white, so called, or so called black, so called white. Um, it's going to be a time of great perils, you know, and troubles, as um, Jeremiah 13 and 7 goes into, and Daniel um, 12th chapter goes into into Isaiah. Um, so I'm the, the reason why I've started with this is because, look, this is from yesterday. Um, I think it's Benjamin Milkowski's brother to um, the, um, Elder Alkama for bringing it out. Um, this is true name. He was the leader of the Small Hats. Um, cops dragged, assaulted, an American flag burned. Pro um, Palestine protesters rage in, in DC. Yeah. So, this is the article. I'm just going to put it in uh, the description box. I'm not going to really go into it, but it just sets the scene of um, the upcoming civil wars that are going to happen, which are already happening in Bangladesh, you know. Um, in different countries, you know, even France, there's some, there's some um, riots going on, or have been going on. Um, and it's going to, as soon as it pops off in Babylon, the great Egypt, you know, Southern Egypt, which is America, um, then that's it, you know what I mean? The crash is going to come, and all hell, all chaos will break loose, point blank period. So I've read a few, few lines of it. Anti-protesters were f um, filmed dragging and assaulting a DC cop, setting fire to the American flag in protest of Small Hats Prime Minister Benjamin Milkowski's. Yeah, really. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, see that, yeah? I mean, this, these are the small skirmishes for now. Um, um, <laughs> the burden of Egypt. Behold, it's Isaiah 19 and 1. I'll read down to 2. Behold, the Lord, it's in all caps. It says, Yahweh, when he sends Yahweh, shall I return him. And return right up upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt. You know, um, as Yahweh shies, um, only begotten son of Yahweh, he will do, you know, the um, bidding of his, of, of his father. Simple as that. Yeah, to come and save the elective nation of Yasharallah um, and to destroy Babylon the Great and take the crowns. You know, um, right up upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Yeah. So Egypt is a code name for um, America. Okay. Yeah, um, you can read it in, to get understanding, read it in um, Exodus 20th chapter. Yeah. Um, the house of bondage, um, um, Revelation 11 and 8. Yeah, describe the Sodom and Egypt. Because if America was directly named um, America in the Bible, the Bible would be banned. So you've got to read, you know, but um, it's things are through the spirit, point blank period. And if you can't see it, then you weren't supposed to see it. Isaiah 6 and 9, okay? Um, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. See? Right? This is this is what's going this, uh, this is what's happening, yeah? All right? This is what's happened. We've seen the beginnings of these um, skirmishes, the beginnings of sorrows, yeah? as the scripture said, Matthew 24 and 8. And the spirit of Egypt shall fall, fail in the midst of thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to their idols and their charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. But as you know, you know, they're standing now with enchantments. It's not going to work. Yeah? As, as these so called elites, um, you know, bring in the chaos because they are agents of chaos. You're going to find that they have no control over it. Yeah. You're going to find that you have Bashmi Al Shai's in control. Um, where are we? Where am I? Jeremiah, isn't it? Yeah. Bear with me a sec. Jeremiah. Oh, yeah. come on, Dean, let's go. So I like it for this. A brain fog. There we are. Isaiah 47 um, and 12. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries. We're in that. This is Yahbash Mashah being sarcastic. You know, um, with, where thou hast labored from thy youth. If so, be thou shalt be able to profit. If so, be thou mayest prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy councils, you know, these secret councils of the wicked, you know, the Bilderberg groups, you know, the uh, WEF constantly, constantly scheming, constantly trying to find a, a way to, to to control everybody, you know, specifically um, the nation of Israel, Yasharala, the true Israelites from um, Judah down to um, Issachar, which are so called, so called Negroes, down to the so called Mexicans, okay, and they're scattered. Right, it's not a, a color thing. Israelites, um, if, as long as they have the limit, li as long as um, their lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, um, you know, they could have blonde hair and blue eyes, but it's all about, you know, because I've got family members in my family, just for example, who's of the same family. Some of them got blonde hair and blue eyes, yeah, so it's not a color thing at all. Israelites have been scattered, so therefore, by definition, Israelites will become looking as the other nations, point blank period. Um, thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up to save thee from the things that shall come upon thee. Yeah. Hmm. Because they've laboured in wickedness. But at the end of the day, yeah, what we're seeing now is the unraveling of, you know, um, let's go, let's watch this. Yeah, the point Before I play this, fair use, fair use, it's just, um, 
Wow. You see? Stephen in the UK man charged after army officer stabbed near barracks in Kent. Yeah, so look at that face. This is the face, new face of terror. If you see that article from the um, from Sky News, so it's even happening in the UK. Yeah, how about you, Shah is turning it up, man. Point blank, period. Yeah, because that will. I, I obviously live in the UK, and this will like enrage the people that this so-called black man did this to a, one of our soldiers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, not condoning what he's done. You know, it's, it's again the spirit's creative of vengeance. Point blank, period. The man's going to of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Yeah, but we have Bashim Shah is turning this place up, turning the spirits up. Yeah. So right now, as this guy's this popular report goes into fair use, fair use, um, just play a few seconds of it. Police attack, flags burned, and monuments dis desecrated. Yesterday, Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, came to Washington, D.C. to give a speech on unity, on our forever alliance between the United States and Israel. A massive, massive uh, speech about goodwill and peace and democracy and all that. And of course, just outside the building, there were protesters burning the American flag, spray painting Hamas onto national monuments. Yes, lots of that happening. Palestinian flags being raised all over D.C., including Union Station. Uh, U.S. American flags being torn down. Uh, Hamas and Gaza flags being flown, uh, lots and lots of things damaged, and like I said, uh, American flags being burned, uh, rioting happening just outside of the... See, it's just an example. These guys are pissed, point blank, period. But as we know, you know, um, the least of the flock shall draw them out. Lord's will, I'll end with that. Because this, what you see here, um, this, is, this is from Enjoy, Enjoy These Last Days, a snippet of the Benjamin Small... Um, Mokowski's um, 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 speech at Congress, basically, is drawing them out through the spirit of Yabash Mashai. America um, will <laughs> join the war, point blank period, at some point in the very near future. Yeah, um, let me go to second address. Let me go to second address. Um, shall I go to 15 or? So much happening, so much happening. Um, all right, let me start at nine. Actually, I'll go to nine. I like nine. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then thou shalt, un then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Yeah, therefore. When there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, thou then shalt thou well understand that the Most I spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. But, like, this is just plain point blank period. This is saying, showing that Yabash um, Mirashai. Wait, wait, one second. Yeah. 46. Remember the form of 42 1. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare before they spring forth. I tell you of them. Yeah, Yahbash Mashai, words do not return unto him void. Point blank period, yeah? But like of all that is made in the world, a beginning and an end and the end is manifest even so the times also of the highest of plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings in signs and effects yeah. i'm going to finish off at seven and the, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed okay this, this is just wow yeah. So, um, second hundred fifteen and three. You know. So we what what what, what do we do? We don't give a damn about the people who don't believe. End of the day, <laughs> it's a point blank period. Yeah. If you can't see what time we're living in, 
through the spirit of Yahweh Shai bringing his prophets from Elder Abba Bivins to the men of um, GMS who are doing the work now and the like minded men. Yeah. Um, um, the true leaders of Yashwala. I've got to say it. You know, it, um, <laughs> the term. Anyway. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity or unbelief of them trouble thee, but speak against thee. All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, who will bring plagues upon the world, sword, famine, death, and destruction. And why? For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. I'm going to end it with, you know, because there's some people think that, um, what's his name? Donald Trump is going to save America. He's going to, he's going to, um, is going to prevent the wars, but that's not the case at all. Jeremiah 49 and 20. Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord that he have taken against Edom. Edom is a so-called white man, point blank period, and specifically the leaders, and his purposes, and his purposes that he have purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate. Middle East, axis of terror confronts America, Israel, and our Arab friends. This is not a clash of civilizations. It's a clash between barbarism and civilization. Uh, these people, I don't know how they can even call themselves civilized, and all they are is a thief come to steal, kill, and kill and destroy. John ten and ten. And as we recently learned, they even brazenly threatened to assassinate President. Trump. But this is an exceptional moment. Fast tracking U.S. military aid to dramatically expedite an end to the war in Gaza and help prevent a broader war in the Middle East. In World War Two. Britain fought on the front lines of civilization. Winston Churchill appealed to Americans with these famous words, give us the tools and we'll finish the job. Today, as Israel fights on the front line of civilization, I too appeal to America, give us the tools faster <laughs> and we'll finish the job faster. With that, I'm going to say, call hello, Yahweh Ba'ashom Yahweh Ba'ashom Kadash, the time Close, it is upon us, circumspect with the spirit of Yahabash Mashai. Wada Yahabash Mashai, allow me to do this video. Wada, Lord's bullet was edifying to the elect from the hopeful elect. Shalom.